Hello and welcome to Robot Arena 2 DSL Tutorial Edition. Yes, today is the day that I am going to show you how to AI your own robots into Robot Arena 2 so you can fight yourself if you want. And I'm going to show you how to do that with Carbide. Here we go. Here's Carbide that I made. Everyone was wondering where it went. Here it is. I made a carbide. Okay, so to start off with, you've built your robot. You have it how you want. You have a weapon, you have the wheels, and it moves, and it does damage. That's the most important thing. But you need to make sure that the computer knows how to control it. So inside every robot, there is motors. Here we have the forward and backwards motor labeled here with forward. Make sure you call it that name, exactly that, with the capital F for your whatever you use to go forward and backwards. Have that programmed in how you wish. And then you have the left right. This is your steering. Make sure you call it left right exactly like that with a capital N and a capital yeah, with a capital L and a capital R. So however your robot turns, make sure you program it in like that. Now here's the fun part, the weapon. So if you've got a spinner like Carbide, you have your button uh, attached to the spinner and you call it spin. If you've got a flipper, you call it flip. If you have an axe or whatever, you usually call it weapon. We we weapon. There we go. So whatever your and whatever your weapon is, make sure you name your button that. And if you have a robot design that is a bit out there, try and find one in the game already. That in, in the AI that has been named. You know. And if you have a robot design that's a little bit out there, try and find a robot in the AI with uh, that you can extract from the game and put into the bot lab and see what they call their buttons. For example, uh, I think if you have like a robot like Nuts, I call it, that one has Whip Zone, like that. So uh, it can vary, So, but for Carbide, it's called Spin. Right, but you're asking me, what if I'm making Terahertz? So what if I'm making something with a flipper? How do I tell the flipper to activate? Well, it doesn't account for Carbide, but if you go in here, ignore all these components, these just so I can make the robot look pretty. But if you go to the end, you will have this in your DSL install. These are smart zones. So if you click that, and you click attach, where's it gone? No one knows. It actually, it goes there. So if you click it where the robot will be, if this was a flipper, when a robot enters the magical green box, the AI knows, hang on, their robot is in my zone, I shall flip. So if Carbide was a flipper, for example, when a robot enters this at any point, the flipper will activate. So in actuality, if the weapon of Carbide was a flipper, I'd try and put the smart zone there. So it activates when a robot's actually on it. That is how I did Eruption. Anyway, so you've gotten that far, you've named your robot, you've called it, and you've done your programming, you've got to go back. I have a feeling the game has crashed trying to export Carbide. No, nope, it's, it's fine, we're good, we're good. Okay, so you've done that, you can leave the game. So quit out of the game, and then you change your recording thing over to that so everyone else can see. You don't have to do that, that's what I have to do. So, this is my desktop, hope you like it, the pictures of whales. Get rid of that, don't need that. So, you have your robot in your robot designs folder. So go into Robot Arena 2, right click, open your file, in here, robot designs. This is where your robot you've just exported will be. So if let's go and find Carbide, uh, 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 there we go, Carbide 2. So, you want to have that in the AI, right? Okay, so, go to the AI and think of a robot you want to replace. I don't know how well you know the DSL AI, but for example, in middleweight, uh, I'm trying to think of one to replace, um... There's a really annoying spinner. Let's replace that one. So, go to bindings.py. Don't go to pike, go to pi. If you click that one, you mess things up. Trust me, I've realized. So go into there, and you get you get presented with a wall of code, basically. That's just really quite baffling. So, I'm going to go and find that annoying spinner. Uh, da -da -da -da. Lock nut. There we go. That's the one I hate. Everyone hates lock nut, because it just, it just doesn't do anything. It just spins and dies, and uh, you can't really kill it, because if you hit it, you die. So, we're going to change lock nut. Two, we're gonna call it carbide because it doesn't have to match exactly. Just gonna call it carbide two or just carbide. Just call it carbide. Why not? So carbide spinner and uh, well, wondering what this is. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems to work. But if you have this here, the nose radius math pi 1.5. That is the way 
your bot faces. So for example, this nuts thing was probably built at an angle. So for carbide, you need to put the number two in there because otherwise it will start backwards. An easy way to figure that out is if you don't change that, the robot starts backwards, it's a two. If it starts sideways, it's either 0 0.5 or 1.5. And if it starts at a weird angle, you, 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 I don't know how you manage that one. Uh, yeah, that's beyond me. But yeah, and uh, since I've chosen a spinner, most of the all, all, all the other functions like the throttle turn and all that will be the same. So we've done the bindings. We need to save that. And we need to go and actually put the robot in the team. Oh, I forgot to take note of what team it was. Hang on. Do -do 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 -do. Carbide team number number nine. There we go. So go to team nine, and that will be Locknut. So just rename that one so we know what it is. Locknut. There we go, leave that there, don't touch that. It's a backup just in case things go wrong, and things often do go wrong. So, robot designs, this is the part you need carbide for. So you're just going to go and get carbide and drag... I don't, no, I don't want to open the file. I'm going to drag it. So I'm just going to drag carbide to the desktop briefly. And then I'm going to go into AI, T number 9. No, there we go. Drag that in and rename it, the missing robot, bot1. Bang, there we go, so now it's called bot1. That should be it. So let's go and have a look if Carbide has worked and we can fight it in the game. Help, yep, see if you flip the game menu thing back. There we go, now I've got my fancy borders. Right, let's see if it's made it in. You can calm, calm down volume, there we go. So we're gonna go 1v1 deathmatch and uh, tournament arena works. I'm gonna be my newest and most destructive robot I've ever made, which, is, which sucks, it's called Portcullis. Um, the wheels are big and the blades big, it works well, let's see if we can defeat Carbide. So, team 9, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, there's Carbide! Ah, there it is! Right, let's see if we can beat it, and let's see if it actually drives and works. Bet you it won't. <laughs> Bet you this will crash and I'll look a fool. Why has my robot got no wheels? And what? What? <laughs> what? That wasn't part of the plan! But as you can see, Carbide is working and it's... Destroying, um, there we go, it destroyed my robot. Why has it got no wheels? Okay, so now the video's taken a different turn to why has my robot got no wheels? Whatever. Okay, so I want to fight Carbide somehow, so we're just going to import in, uh, let's go. I've got two things called poor colors, how uncreative am I? Uh, we're going to go for, do 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 do, nuts two. There we go, another one that you've, uh, not seen. Don't know why I didn't show you that one. Right. Go back to the exhibition, tournament arena, yeah, deathmatch, I want to be nuts, give me nuts too. Nuts 2 versus Carbide, let's see if we can emulate the same result as before, I don't think I can, there's Carbide, let's go. Okay, Nuts 2 versus Carbide, let's see what I can do, I've also AI'd Nuts 2 at some point, but oh my god, what's going on? Okay, so I made Nuts 2 ridiculously fast, let's see if we can actually beat Carbide, come on Nuts. Do, 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 do. It's actually doing quite a lot of damage. I'm quite impressed by this. Look how fast it spins. Carbide's just sitting there. Just sitting there. Come on, do something. I'm gonna lose an axe. Why is Carbide dead? Oh! I've, I've killed its triangle. Oh! Come on, I'm beating the crap out of Carbide with nuts here. If I can beat this, this would be a great video to end on. You know, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. I'm spinning again. Okay, no. Nuts is losing control. Nuts is losing control. Okay, no, 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 no. Nuts is, uh, yeah, out of, whoa, okay, bye-bye, whoa, I'm over here now, okay, nuts, nuts, please, nuts, nuts though, nuts, nuts though, nuts though, nuts, uh, there we go, killed it, I don't know how though, woohoo!